Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Nelson, you're watching Nature Nell, and if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Today is a mini what's in bloom, and the reason it's mini is because throughout the summer, I have a lot of things to show. That's number one, and number two, it's so hot, <laughs> so I can't be here all day. It's, it's early in the morning. I'm already sweating, and it's super early, <laughs> so... I am going to start doing these shows, or I'm going to continue doing these shows throughout the summer, a little bit smaller, maybe 30 minutes uh, an episode. Uh, that way it'll make everybody happy. Not everybody can sit down and watch a full one hour show. I know I always have a lot of blooms and I'm always excited to show them all, but we're going to change it up a little bit. We are shooting in 4K, so it's uh, it forces me to make them shorter because it's a lot of information to process. So I'm trying to keep them under 30 minutes. I'm shooting at the highest, highest, highest quality that I can shoot with my uh, new iPhone, which is really nice. I hope you guys love the Hoya episode. That was the first tester. Ooh, mosquitoes already biting. <laughs> that was the first tester, and I think it looks pretty good. So I am shooting this the same way. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy it the same. So without further ado, let's go look at some blooms. All right, guys. So let's just start here in the front. Dead center. Now, like I said, I'm only going to show you guys what's recently in bloom. Now, this was budding last time I did my what's in bloom. And I got this over at Pam's at Orchids in Bloom during the Redland show. This is the name. It's the Royal Cognac. But guys, look how weird. Look at this petal. It looks like it was going to be um, a labellum or something. <laughs> it's very funny. I mean, sometimes they do have mutations. Um, this one is perfectly fine. You know, that's the way it looked on the photo when I saw it. It has that very tie-dyed look on the labellum and then spotted on the leaves. But this one, it was going to be spotted, then it was going to be striped. I don't know why that is. And then it just, and this piece was like, I guess, harmed. Now, I have had a couple of plants here that have gotten thrips. So I think that this one, since I sprayed it already when the bud was pretty big and mature, um, it may have had a little bit of damage from thrips. And, and that's something that, you know, it does happen when you keep your, especially when you keep your orchids outdoors. So it gave me, an, it was going to be three. I was so happy. And you know what? I think I jinxed it because I said, oh, and it's going to give me two beautiful buds. And then I had to correct it in my editing and put actually three. But look, it only gave me two. The third one actually died of thrips. So that's why I think that that is the culprit. Now, let's see. Let's go in here. Because there are new things opening that are very exciting, like this Encyclia that I have been waiting patiently. This is, um, I was going to say Brethren's, <laughs> but it's not from Brethren's. It's from Hamlin Orchids in Jamaica, which is their dad. I'm trying to see, oh, this is, this is kind of the golden hour, but it's not really there yet. So there's a lot of contrast in the filming. And I am shooting 4K, so I don't know exactly how well it's going to reproduce it. Uh, and it does also have focal problems. And remember what I said about encyclias? They are very tough to focus on. Yeah, it's a little better. So this is um, an encyclia. Let me see. I can't remember how to say the name. I do have the tags back here. Encyclia phonesia. And it is a species from Cuba. Come on, focus! Wow. Encyclia phonesia, species from Cuba. So anyways, I got this from Hamlin at, uh, I would say, two international shows ago over at Redland. And this is the first time it blooms. Look at what a pretty flower. There it is. That's pretty. And cichlias, for some reason, every time I try to film them, I guess because they're so... Um, refined and thin and small, it, it tends to want to record the background. And for your YouTubers, if you're watching my channel and you and you, I've seen some of you have trouble with the screen in the back. When when you focus on a flower, if there's a screen in the back, for some reason, the iPhone rather pick on the screen than the flower. So 
try not to do it. Like now it's working, but most of the time that's what happens. And I noticed that it was happening the other day to, I think it was Melissa Loves Orchids. <laughs> I think it was happening to her. Now look at this gorgeousness. This is my Catlia Seabreeze. I got this from Tan at Springwater. Look at that beauty. All the way around beautiful. Oh, maybe I'll make this a what's in bloom <laughs> cover. It's so pretty. These came out a while ago. I was hoping that they would still be open for these to see the whole, you know, bushel because it did give me two. This is kind of ugly because this is already on its way out. There we go. That's a nice cover there right there. Really pretty. So anyways, I got this big mega Catlia from Tan a while ago. Let me see if it has a tag because I always keep the tags on the back and I think the full, yet yeah, is back here. Oh, this is going to be a toughie. I'm going to try. All right, guys, if I fall, call 911. This is a big name. See, the thing is that I put this uh, board on the cat on the cork, but here I'll give you at least this much. Oh, there it is. That's the whole thing. <laughs> Perfect. So that's the full name, and it's not one that you often see. I don't see these often, and when I have seen them, it's from the same person, Tong. So I think he's just taking cuttings from one that he has, or I think that's what he told me. And this was one he had over at Coral Smith almost two years ago. And I bought it for a hundred, I think it was 125 bucks. And I immediately put it in this cork because I knew it was going to get way bigger. And I got that cork, um, same place, same day from, um, from Chris over at Ophi's. And, um, and I put it on here and it's just, I mean, it's really grown to the point where it's outgrowing that cork now see that's all that's left of the cork so it's it's rooted very very well here and the fragrance guys oh man does this smell good it just has a beautiful beautiful fragrance very floral and sweet you can smell it from right here and then it has sort of a blue hue over the white that just makes it spectacular this would really photograph well with a black background oh yeah all right, guess who decided to give me another beautiful spike? None other. I bought this one over at uh, Mount Park, if you guys don't remember. Then Cyclia Orchid Jungle. And this came from the Orchid Society of the Palm Beaches. And they've been around for 75 years. And sales go to their uh, membership, not their membership, their society. And it helps, you know, the club. And, and I, every time I can do that, I, I always do. Because, you know, those, those Orca Societies are great. People learn a lot. A lot of my friends are in them. You know, I have, my time is very limited, so I can't join. I tried already. It's just impossible for me. But I got to tell you, they're really good. I, they tell me the things they do, and I'm jealous. Especially the raffles and the speakers and all that. It's really, really great. Kelly in Hawaii at Orchids in, Blue, uh, Orchids in Paradise. She, um she has recorded some speakers from her club and it's really really cool stuff you learn a lot so anyways my contribution was to buy this and look how beautiful this is what a gorgeous gorgeous little encyclia and i love this fragrance this is the one that i say it smells like baby cologne <laughs> all right next one let me see what else oh i can't forget this so Terry, I know you're watching, my love. And look who decided to give me another spike. None other than your gift. Your the double gift because this was um this was from the worker was from Bloom of oh, from Blooms. <laughs> from Moats. I'm trying to do this. <laughs> the orchid comes from Moats. If you guys are interested, and this is the name of it. Louisvillei, Crosswood Band, and Cygnus. And 
I didn't know what the flower was going to look like. I, I took a chance on it because Teresita gave me this uh, for you newbie. She's my sidekick. We go out shopping and we have a lot of fun. If you guys haven't seen her with me in the other channels, I encourage you to do so because it is a lot of fun with her. And she gave me this as a gift. And over at, um, I was going to say, I keep saying orchids in bloom today. I don't know why that's in my mind. <laughs> Orchids 365, who makes these beautiful, beautiful um, 3D pots for for orchids. Roxy gave me this. And so I put it together. And lo and behold, guys, look at the tone between the petals and that. It, it, it just couldn't have been more perfect. I love, love the way this looks together. And look, look at this root. This grew with me <laughs> these two roots because i had it all wrapped in there and it said uh-uh you're not gonna constrain me i want freedom <laughs> so anyway she gave me these big roots and i'm like you know what you're a little girl you got big roots you got something to say i'm listening so let's um move on over look at this let's stop here for a second look at this it got pollinated inside my greenhouse a lot of things got pollinated inside my greenhouse this year my grammatophyllum i moved it in here and look it's so big <laughs> all right this one is a vanda bangyong sky blue this is a gorgeous gorgeous purple i don't even think he has these anymore i haven't seen these he has many that look very similar to this like the, the prochera delight and he's got another one uh, star blue i think it's called but anyway this one is an older one from back in the day and it just gives such a pretty pretty purple it's determined to go to that side and go away from the sun here we go look at that what a gorgeous color and so these deep purple do you guys see that sort of like a halo around here that almost sets off like a bluish purple that's why they're called blue it doesn't necessarily mean that they're blue, but um, here I did I did my own tag because the old one just wore out. So this is the actual name. But it's a gorgeous Vanda. She is really, really pretty. And let's take a little review look at my Nun Orchid. How beautiful it's come back. If you guys remember, it was pretty bad but i always tell you guys that it's part of its cycle and then it comes back stronger bigger with some beautiful beautiful rich green leaves and gives me like 10 to 15 this year i had like i think it was like 16 or 17 17 spikes i think i can't remember yeah it was something crazy like that so she is a heavy giver so i always try to like cut her back and put them all together and to my surprise here let me show you what is happening here and Sierra Madre, if you're watching, I got this beautiful uh, Peristeria alata. Oh, oh, sorry. It's pretty heavy because I, I water them and and that's pure con uh, cement. Um, this is my Peristeria alata. This is what they call the Holy Ghost Flower uh, Orchid. I'm sorry. It's a patron uh, flower of Panama. And look, she's giving me one, two... Uh, three so I have three potential um, spikes coming out of these shoots and this one hasn't given any so to I'm sorry this one hasn't given any so I may have up to four shoots I mean I'm being hopeful but look at that she is healthy and she is due for a new pot my phone is burning hot guys with this weather you have no idea i'm suffocating right now with this weather and it's afternoon this is why i'm doing it because it's not as hot it's like it was 99 degrees earlier and my car was saying when we were driving i was like oh my god <laughs> so uh the phone gets very very hot so look at this pretty 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 uh vanda this one i got at Crawl smith and these, there's many different types of these little tiny ones. You know, the bank, uh, I think the Bangkok something, I'm drawing a blank right now. But this one is uh, Tian Chai 
cross with a Rinkin stylus Celestis. Oh, by the way, I had to learn to say it's not Coelestis, which is a word, honestly, I hadn't really learned that word. I recently just saw that. So nobody really told me how to say it. So I assumed. And they, the person who tried to correct me online said, I thought you got a book that, that you were learning. No, I did not get a book. I have magazines from the American Orchid Society and inside they have an index and I did check and they didn't have that word in that one. I don't know if they're all different, their editions, but that word I did not find. So that's why I didn't know, but I did look to try to see. So it's Celestis. And look how pretty she is. Mr. Lestis, how are you? Hello. The sun is hitting you in the right direction. Show me your profile. Wow, she is gorgeous. And guys, when I say she, it's a figure of speech. It doesn't mean it's a female or a male. I just like using she. It creates a beautiful tone around the flower. That's just the way I personally see it. Because I got questioned about that too. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the, some of the questions are just <laughs> oh my god to try to explain right <laughs> so then here right here hold on I had oh no don't tell me I lost a tag to this I think I did because I had to move this well anyway I will look for it because I did have it and I have it on film so this is the one I bought I don't know if you guys remember. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to try to inset it there. I know I have videos of this. Uh, it's a gorgeous dendrobium, but it's just starting to open. See? And the top uh, where the ant uh, antlers are, they start twisting as it gets older. And the antlers get really long and twisted. And it becomes like a deep, deep, deep royal purple blue. It's a Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous dendrobium. But right now I can't remember the name and I, I'm so sad I lost the tag. And I just got this at the Redline International Orchid Show. So I can't be losing that tag. And I, and I gotta tell you, I look at my greenhouse and I'm so proud because I see tags everywhere. <laughs> I'm like, yay, I'm getting there. I said I wasn't gonna stop till I had everything tagged, but you know, things fly guys. You don't know, the weather here is cray cray. And look what's coming. Look what's coming. This is the Brasavola. Ooh, I forgot the name now. Brasavola Catlia. Catlia Chiliriana with Brasavola. Um, it's a mix. So this one, I almost, it, it had a, a, a bad case of, see? It's already dried. But that's a really bad case of millibugs. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to pull you. And so I started spraying and spraying her and she immediately recovered. And look, she gave me, she gave me new shoots. Isn't that pretty? So, you know, guys, just be on top of your orchids. Don't, don't be, you know, don't be um, disappointed or, or oh, let me just stop here. I'm, I'm doing this for my friend Kelly. And cause I think she posted or talked about this. Uh, Lori Mortimer, look at that. And I was telling her that, yes, that this is one of my first androbiums that I got. And unfortunately, it, lose, it lost a lot of the leaves. Some people tell me that's normal when you keep them outdoors. Sometimes that happens. But she keeps shooting flowers. So she's, she's a heavy bloomer. She never gives up. But it's she's so pretty. And then, you know, her antelopes, even though she's, I don't think they consider this one an antelope. Or they just don't call it an antelope. They call it Lori Mortimer. Um they're shorter it's almost like one twist sometimes they get one and a half twist but you know they're not as twisty as the other ones now let's go here to my shumberg yeah <laughs> oh, i'm trying to find a good lighting here this is one of my favorite 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 shumberg yas. She is from um, Planteo L'Orchidia, Plantio L'Orchidia. And I bought her a while ago and it was peer pressure, the best peer pressure ever by my friend Laz and Blanca from Blanca's Orchid Garden. They're like, you have to get that. You need that in your collection. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And I had seen it, I had seen it. And I was like, that's a really nice piece, but it, it wasn't even blooming. It was just, it was just this, but 
look how big is uh, for you guys who've been following me look how big this thing has gotten it is massive it was like only that piece right there when i bought it and i paid i think 75 dollars. so anyways they convinced me to buy this which i'm so happy i didn't i was thinking about it Hold on, i'm trying to there we go look at the rich colors and this is a louise fuchs Schumberkia Murmur Kofala Louise Fuchs. And I believe this was hybridized by Robert Fuchs of RF Orchids, founder of RF Orchids. I believe that was his grandmother. He told me himself because I told him, oh, I have a beautiful Schumberkia named after you, but I don't know who it is in your family because it's a, <coughs> it's a female's name. And he says, oh, that's my grandmother's. <laughs> So it's beautiful and it does bloom a lot. And look, as you guys can see, it has one spike here and another one here full of buds ready to bloom. So she's super happy in this spot, you know, and she gets sun all day, pretty much all day. And amazing fragrance. Hands down, one of the top fragrances in my Schomburg is here. This is just, it just went crazy with pollination. So when you guys see this, if you have orchids in your garden, that means you have a healthy garden. It means you, your uh, orchids are being pollinated. Now, some people don't like that because, you know, the flower dies right away after it gets pollinated. Oh, there's nothing blooming here. This is just overgrown. I haven't really touched that because we're going to start expanding back there. But uh, let me see what else I can show you because I don't want to miss anything. Let's go into my, um, my little hut here, my quick tent. I hope you guys like that Hoya episode. I just want to do something like that because, you know, I have, as you saw, I have a couple that are looking pretty good and why not, you know? Why not? And they go so well. Like I've learned that Hoyas, bromeliads, um, orchids, air plants, ferns, aeroids, they all kind of go together, you know? You collect one, you collect all. <laughs> and it keeps going more and more and more. Okay, let's see. Do I have anything here that I can show you? Well, I can show you the progress of my, all my aeroids, how well they're doing. And for you guys that have been following me that you saw that I bought them really tiny, look how big they're all getting. I mean, some of these were only one leaf when I bought them. Look at that over there. This is a cupra. I got this cupra. <laughs> it's a hard name to say. Cupru, cu, cuprea. <laughs> Alocasia cuprea. I'll say it in Spanish. Red, red secret. And this is a this this one. I brought it back to life twice because she was in the wrong spot twice, and she almost died on me. But look, she's really really pretty, and she's opening these. These are new, but look at that. It's like a copper, a coppery um top. See what I was saying about the curls and the antelope. This one has like two twists three twists actually this is a brown antelope dendrobium uh, bleh. Dendro dendrobium chocolate antler sorry <laughs> I'm talking too fast guys and when I talk really fast I do some major screw up sometimes and I laugh when I'm editing but you know what I have absolutely no shame in my game nobody's perfect right let's just have fun with this if you take if you take it too too seriously you're gonna end up last <laughs> because people are not gonna really be on board with that all the time you know it's just, it gets really difficult sometimes to um to remember everything and to try to to put everything in 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 one episode that it's cohesive it makes sense because i don't have it written down you know tv shows are different tv shows oh Look at this. TV shows, everything's written down. They have cue cards. I'm just ad-libbing. I'm just going as I go. So this is so pretty. Now there's a little story to this. I got this at the Redline International Show last year, right? And it was a Bellina Firefox, uh, the fire shape, they call it. And I got this from Ching Huang Orchids, which they're very, very, very popular at the Redline Show. They always have a lot of people. And this year I covered several of the Asian international um, vendors. And they had some beautiful, beautiful stuff. 
So this one, I got two of them. That one's about to start blooming. And I had gone to Santony a year ago and bought something very similar. And I said, I wonder if I have the same thing. <laughs> and I believe I do. This one's already on its way out. So the flower's kind of beat up. But guess what? It's the same flower. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, I have two. So I've been looking at these because you see these little bite marks? That's that bug I told you guys about. That's the only one I've seen that likes to... Um, that likes to eat my orchid flowers, but I haven't seen any in here in a while, so we're good. And then this little baby dendrobium, this little mini. This one's gorgeous. This was a, a gift from a friend who had to leave back home to England and she left me all her plants. And this is one of the several orchids she left me and she's doing beautiful. And it's still in the same pot she gave it to me and everything. All right. I think that's it for the flowers here. A little mm -hmm. review on here. This is doing beautiful. Now, I lost a tag on this. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to have to retag this, but I don't remember the name of this one. So I think I showed it once before, and somebody had given me the name. And it made sense, but I don't know. I thought I had tagged it. I'm drawing a blank here. I almost remember even doing the tag. We're in the twilight zone. Sometimes it feels that way. All right. Oh, and look at this, how cute. I just got this and you can bend it any way that you want. So I'm gonna, I bought this over at the Redline show this year and I'm just gonna start kind of creating that shape up and down. And then from that, I'm gonna take cuttings and I'm gonna plant them under my trees because those leaves get really, really, really big. They get like the Monstera. Whew. God, it's so hot. I know that I keep saying that, but I'm not even, I'm under an uh, understatement of saying that it's very hot. It's even more hot than that. Oh, anything in here? No, I still have these beauties blooming. These are still blooming. And man, do they smell pretty at night. And what I like is that it seems like they're long, uh, long lasting blooms. Robusta. Sobe Nicofia. And at night, oh, the dog heard me. <laughs> Yikes. All right, we're gonna have to turn this around. Because once he hears me, yeah, it's nonstop. All right, guys, let's turn this puppy around. <laughs> no pun intended. All right, guys, that is it. That is the end of our journey today. And boy, am I happy because I'm about to melt away. <laughs> That's why I said I've been wearing white shirts because you can't tell that I'm sweating. <laughs> but anyways, um, it's not, it's probably gonna last for another two months. I think it by the end of August, our weather starts finally cooling down a little bit, but these are the treacherous three months of our summer that just kills us, June, July, and August. Those are like the worst. But anyways, the orchids, the plants seem to love it, so I'm not complaining. Like they said, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. So go back inside and get in the AC. <laughs> so anyways, guys, the only announcement I have, and you know, I'll step aside here. It's the Ophi's Orchid and Plant Sale uh, at the end of this month, end of July, the last weekend of July. They will be holding their periodic orchid and plant sale, which is I love it because, you know, they always have different vendors. They have their usual vendors like Crow Smith, Sierra Madre, Lady Vanda, but they always bring in somebody new and there's something different to always see when you go there. Now, I will tell you guys during the summer, they keep their uh, uh, hours uh, limited because it's too hot to be outdoors later on in the day. I mean, it's like 930 right now and it is scorching. So imagine like by three, four o'clock, it's just... It's just impossible. It's unbearable to be out there that long. So if you guys want to go and participate and shop, try to go early. I believe they're going to be open at 8 o'clock. I think those are the summer hours. But either way, you guys can call Ophi's Orchids and Supply. They will give you all the information. Um, what else? I think that's about it. I have the February show, but I already announced that in my Hoya episode. And that I'll be periodically announcing it because it's not until February of 2024. So... 
we'll get back to that later. So, all right, guys, that is it for this show. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for your comments. I actually answered all my comments. I caught up yesterday, so I'm super happy about that. So I believe I probably responded to all of you. So if you guys left a comment, chances are you have a response. So if you go back on YouTube, on your thread, you'll see that you have a response or maybe an emoji or a little heart or something. But I did read everybody's comments. I always do. All right, guys, thank you for sticking by. I am Nelson. You have been watching Nature Now. And remember to always, always keep it cool and keep it green. I'll see you next time.